What is up everybody? It's rev time. Today I want to talk about uh, the bends and it's something uh, I struggle with uh, just getting the pitches right and every once in a while I just sit down and work on it especially if I'm playing guitars that aren't necessarily my guitars like I don't own this guitar so I don't play it very often because I don't want to get that used to it because I'm gonna to have to give it back um, but what happens is I'll pick it up to play it and I'll be off a bit on the bends just because the scale's different than the strats I play. Um, so I've got a little exercise that I do, and this not only applies to playing a guitar you're not used to, but just as an exercise. And then, you know, it's to each his own. You guys might not dig this, but this is what I do to try and keep uh, my bends in tune. And the first thing I try to do is just establish uh, a relative pitch. So in this case, you know, for... <laughs> So if I'm bending up to that note, what I'll do is I'll hit the note first, and then I'll try and uh, hit it as accurately without bending up to it. In other words, I'm not doing this. I'm trying to hit the note accurately without bending, or you know, swooping into it. So with that as a rule, you can do that all over the place. If you want to do a minor third bend, that's a little harder. And the other thing I do is I, I'll switch fingers. So I'll, I'll do it, you know, I'll, I'll maybe on this string, on the B string, I'll hit the note, and then I'll use my second finger to try to bend to it. Like there was sharp. Sharp. Not right there. And then I'll switch to my third finger. And that's a cool exercise too, just to get, once again, your bends in tune. Uh, just, you know, using different fingers. That was a little off. About right there. Try not to, you know, I mean, obviously work on vibrato and play with, you know, vibrato, but when you're practicing this, try to just hit the note dead on. Because what'll happen is you'll shake, if you miss, you'll try and just vibrato into it naturally. I mean, that would be a human tendency. So that was off. That's better. That was sharp. That was better. And you know, the bends don't have to be absolutely perfect. That's not the point, but to get close enough to pitch. That when you do shake the note, you know, you were already there. And then when you go to start bending up to the note, it's a lot easier. But if you just want to, you know, not reference and 
you'll find that you're way more in tune, you know. You know, and even that, that's kind of a fun, try to be in tune. Ah, sharp. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I do as I struggle along with, you know, just doing bends that are in tune. One thing I will warn you of is if you, if you feel any fatigue, uh, that's when you want to stop because you're going to create muscle memories uh, that are not going to help you in the future. So just do it um, and, you know, try to be as mindful as possible of, you know, hitting those pitches. But also keep in mind if you are getting fatigued or feeling any sort of weird pains or especially any sort of shocks or numbness or anything like that, uh, make sure you take a break and then come back and and go at it again. OK. Thanks so much for uh, watching, and as always, if you want to see more content like this, please hit that like button and subscribe, because that's what helps us to keep doing this. All right, you guys, see you next time.